Hi and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use Elementor's new template kit function. So uh, we're going to go to my website. This one is a test website that I have created and we're going to go to the dashboard. I was just doing the updates here. So we could just go to dashboard. So this is your dashboard and you see here on the Elementor, below Elementor, you have templates. And there, there's a new menu, sub-menu, that is called Kit Library. We click on that. And also, uh, mind you that uh, I'm using the free version of Elementor for the purposes of this tutorial. So what I'm going to show you can be ap applied directly if you have the free version of Elementor. You don't need to purchase the pro version yet. <clears throat> So uh, even if you don't have the pro version, you do have access. You can see what it's there. So this is all the template kits and you can see which ones have the pro badge and which ones don't have. So those ones here on top, bread bakery, a wedding photographer, they can be used straight away. Those that they have the pro badge here. And I think there are some more that are called expert. If we scroll a bit more. Uh, more yes here expert uh, with the black uh, banner and the red pro they cannot be used unless you purchase one of their plans but we're gonna stick as I said to the free version and we're just gonna try and see how it works we're gonna just select the the first one bread bakery and I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to view demo and here we see the pre-built website. It's a template kit and it's nice. It looks very nice, right? And if we click on overview, we see which elements are included or which pages. So we have a home page, our bread, which is a page where it shows your services. You can use that for your own services. You don't have to sell bread. You can sell here, whatever, just to showcase what your products are. Uh, we have our story and we have a contact us page. Now, what I'm going to do, mind you, I have still have the free version. Uh, I'm going to apply kit. So let's click on that. Setting up kit. Now, I cannot use on my free version the templates which include headers, footers, archives, single posts, single pages, search results, 404 error pages, pop-ups and global widgets. What does that mean? I'm going to un uncheck it. It means that uh, you cannot have a navigation menu that will be used automatically uh, all everywhere on your website. You have to use your themes default navigation and uh, the footer is not there. <clears throat> so with the free version, you don't get access to a navigation template. And uh, what else is not included? Um, you cannot have um, archives to single post. Think of it as your blog. So if you just want the website to have a few static pages for your business, you can use that. Uh, but uh, those uh, the free version of Elementor doesn't support templates for blogs. So, uh, and still this template, this kit that we selected is not targeted towards a blog page. So we're just looking for a simple four pages, uh, static pages website. So 404 error page, well, you will have a 404 page. It's just it's going to be a WordPress uh, default page and you don't have pop-ups and we, you don't have global widgets but for the purposes of this tutorial we don't uh, we're not going to use those so i'm going to uncheck this and i'm going to keep the content which is elementor pages landing pages posts elementor posts as and so on and site settings global colors global fonts theme style setting you you will have all those things so i'm gonna click on next setting up your kit can take a minute or less. So your kit is now live on your site and this template includes, it gives you an overview, uh, the site settings, which is the global colors, fonts, typography. It has its own set of colors, uh, fonts, uh, typography, buttons, images, 
You can uh, exchange them for your own images. Form fields, background, layout, lightbox, custom CSS, header and footer. But we will see how we can use those things. The content is four pages and I'm going to click back to dashboard. Um, and now I'm going to go to pages. And here you see it has created those that they have Elementor. I have some other pages, demo pages, uh, are the ones that were just published. They have a front page Elementor, our bread Elementor. Those are made with Elementor. So let's see what has happened to the website. Uh, it is here already. You see, it is here and it has imported it was it looks exactly as it did inside the template uh, gallery where we picked it and here we have the text and so what the only thing you need to do is uh, edit with elementor to replace it with your own text with your own fonts and so on uh, so here on top, this is where it was supposed to be the navigation menu, which we don't have it, but we can create a menu and we can have the default menu. I'm going to show you uh, the default WordPress menu. So here we have the picture here. You can click on that and you can edit style and you can see here the image, which is this delicious looking bread. You can change it and here you can uh, change the text to yours you can edit it and you can uh, adjust it to your own needs now when it comes to the menu here here i don't have a logo it just picks up my name that i have put it as the name of my website but let's see if we go to themes and customize i mean it has this nice orange color um menus uh, footer main menu. I have a main menu here and I am going to click here header and it has taken uh, the menu that they have already created. Of course, you can create your own menu. So you might not get what was inside the let's let's take another look uh, on uh, a template. You might not get what was inside the actual layout. Uh, let's see it. It's also here. Well, it does look the same as here. It's just that you need to fix it. So I don't see the problem. Actually, it's ready. It is ready. Just you just need to fix your navigation menu and it's there. And here you can change uh, instead of having your name, you can add a logo. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Uh, we go to site identity and here select logo. Oof. Let's do something. I don't know. We can select. Let's just take this image here. Random image. Uh, skip cropping. You see, it has taken this image now, so uh, you might not have the option of editing this uh, header navigation menu with Elementor, but you can edit it with WordPress and we, it will look great and it is a part of the layout. So up here you will rem you will sorry, you will add your logo and here you can add your own navigation menu and you're good to go. And with the same in the same way, you can add your you can edit here the footer. So you go to uh, menus and if you want to have a footer, uh, contact me, footer, add items. Oh, I don't know, you can add a menu. Oh, yes. Now, uh, so the menu was hidden. We need to activate the menu on the footer or to be able to add uh, a few elements on the footer on the free version. You need to go here on the site settings and uh, you go to footer and here you have a site logo if you want. So, OK, we don't want to have it in the bottom as well, but uh, you can have a, your tagline here. Welcome to my website. And here we have um, uh, menu hide it was hidden 
you can show it if you want to have like a footer a different navigation menu uh, you have of course the copyright and here it has a color which you can change it here if you want you know it changes color you see it and um, what else can you do uh, we have the tagline text color typography menu here uh, you can select a different menu. I'm going to put the footer one, which is contact me and, you know, whatever links you want. Color. I don't like that kind of color. And I'm going to take uh, white. I put a very intense orange color. That's not what it was before, right? So I don't remember exactly, but we're going to leave it like this now. But here you can access the footer settings. Uh, since you have the free version, since we're having the free version, uh, it is kind of limited. We cannot add more options, uh, but that is great. Um, so to access the site settings, you can do it. Oh, save. Yes. You can do it um, either by going to appearance, customize. And here, header and footer. And uh, you just follow here this little uh, person, start here, click on that, and it takes you to the site settings um, page. Here you have this site bar. And this is how you use the Elementor Kit templates and how you can make some basic adjustments using the free version of Elementor. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to uh, thumbs up, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.